friends, I am so happy to be with you. I have I have missed you so much. I have not made a video in I don't know how many months. I think it was August um, that I stopped making videos for a while, and mostly because that is well two reasons. I did a lot for One Book July, and I guess kind of burnt myself out a little bit. And then I also started working on my fine art business, the business side of things that I've never been very good at. Um, just trying to actually make a business <laughs> with what I do. And so I've been working on that pretty solidly since September. Anyway, I have made a lot of changes to my whole like planning, journaling system. And I just wanted to share that with you today. I think that this is probably gonna be kind of long and chatty because I have a lot to talk about. I don't know, hang out with me for a little bit. <laughs> I, I like long chatty videos, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna stress out about talking too much. Um, so the first thing I'll talk to you about is my creative journaling because that's kind of where I left off. For One Book July, I started this Hobonichi. Um, I have all kinds of videos about this. Uh, and I have continued. So I'm not gonna do a flip through right now. I will, I will have a flip through. That's not even in frame, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I will have a flip through of all this later. I might do it month by month. Or I might just do it all in one go. I don't know. It's a lot to show if I just do it. I don't know. Maybe I'll do multiple. But anyways, I'm slightly behind. I like that page a lot. Um, I'm slightly behind, but I don't worry about it because I tend to do multiple pages at once. So today is the 25th. So I'm a few days behind. Um, but I like working that way and I use it, I mean, it's definitely more of an art journal than a, a memory keeper. Sorry, let me move that out of the way. Um, and so it's okay to me if I just put some watercolor down and just write a few words that says, like, that's enough of a trigger for me to know kind of what was happening at that time. I wrote ornaments, 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 or, you know, ornaments a million times because I was working on painting ornaments <laughs> and it was a lot of work. So I felt like that's all I was doing for days. Um, so sometimes I do like memory keeping type things, uh, a lot of quotes. And anyways, I've been enjoying this a lot. October was super busy. I, I was doing a lot of business stuff, and so I didn't get in this book a whole lot. But what I did was a challenge. It was Peachtober, you know, kind of like Inktober. And so I just did these little doodles. I mean, I started off quite, I mean, this is this took me a while and I'm really proud of it, but then there are other days where like, that's all I did and <clears throat> my kids drew on the page. So that was fun, uh, and I could catch up with that. I could just go back and draw things. Um, we took a little trip to Asheville. So I'll talk to, to you more about that another time, but that's that's going well. I really enjoy that. I've already um, got my next year's copy. This is a, an, just an additional like art journal. It's a Stillman and Burn. Zeta series. It's really thick paper and this is my favorite sort of I guess art journal um, sketchbook sort of thing because you can pretty much put anything in here and it'll hold up really well. It's very sturdy. I have a, a bigger one that I might have shown on this channel before. I'm not sure. Um, but I put a lot of cutouts from magazines. I'm going to have to, hold on. Um, can't even get.
get the whole thing in the frame, but you get the gist. Do a lot of like mag like this a whole spread of just from a, a magazine, flow magazine. Um, and I just do this every now and then. This is actually a painting, an encaustic painting by my friend Phaedra. Phaedra Jean Art Machine on Instagram. And this was in a magazine. I cut it out. Stuck it in my journal. So this is fun to go back and forth. I just, I just sometimes play in here. It's definitely not even a weekly thing. So those are my creative journals. Now I will tell you about my more like daily system, I guess. <laughs> um, and these are all new-ish. Like basically since I've made a video, all these things are new. So I'll tell you all about them. Um, I was in a bullet journal for really like a couple years not I had a couple but um, this was my last bullet journal it's a Midori MD a5 dot grid and I ended this I guess June because I was getting ready for one book July and I didn't so much enjoy planning in the Hobonichi cousin it just didn't work for me um, I like it as a creative journal, but it just, I don't know, it just didn't flow for me. So, and around that time, I, you know, I've been looking at getting a leather notebook or notebook cover, travel, uh, traveler's notebook, you know what I'm talking about, these things, um, <laughs> I'd been looking for quite a while and I was really just undecided on the size because I'm really an A5 girl, but I didn't want to get an A5 necessarily because I knew that I wouldn't carry it around with me and I wanted something more compact that I could carry with me. And I struggled with what size to get for a long time and then I accidentally got a, an A5 Midori, I'm sorry, A6 Midori MD. And I found that I liked the size a lot because the proportions obviously were the same as an A5. I find a lot of the sizes too narrow. Um, standard size, B6 slim. <clears throat> They're just, I don't know, they feel, they feel too small. <laughs> and so I guess I, I like that wider size. And um, yeah, I just found that I liked it, so it was kind of kismet, I guess. I looked online on um, Shakespeare's website, and they were having these, they had these um, Mockingbird Blue Jay leather um, covers on clearance. And so my husband said, go ahead and do it. <laughs> so I did. And I'm super happy with it. I love it. I love this color. I love this notebook. Um, yeah. So what I have in here right now is um, three notebooks. <clears throat> well, actually, the, there's four, sort of, but I'll tell you about this in a second. Um, I have two of these Midori MD Light notebooks. They're just blank and then that big one the um, the bigger size in the back here and then this kind of like a dashboard sort of thing that I made this notebook is where I just kind of jot, jot down ideas about projects for my art making mostly I don't use this notebook a whole lot but I'm glad to have it when I need it this one is my actual like planner right now. So it's kind of like bullet journal style, but I do have some of these uh, printables. Mm, you know, I think, I don't know what you call them. This one, this one is fun because today 
Actually, the reason why I can like talk to you right now is because I launched a bunch of paintings on my website today and I'm, I haven't even really talked about it that much, but they're there and I've sent an email and it's like, I don't know, off my plate. I've done a lot of work. <laughs> I've done a whole lot of work. I have more work to do, but tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So I'm taking the night and the day off tomorrow and maybe Friday off too and just enjoying what I've accomplished. So this is like a tracker for my um, posting online and just holiday like sales stuff and I'm not really good at tracking anything. So this sort of keeps me on track, but not, I mean, I'm just more of a list maker, which is what this stuff is. I kind of do daily, daily um, stuff. Here's just like a whole bunch of projects I need to do um, today. Celebrate. <laughs> This is my big celebration. I mean, not really. I had fun with my kids today. But anyway, that's that. And this is sort of my, what would I call this? This is stuff that I'll want to have in my planner more long term. So it's lists of things, um, just information I want to have with me. Uh, I don't know. I just put all kinds of stuff in here and it's not very well organized and I kind of feel like when I'm done with this, I won't do this sort of thing again. It's just, it happened because of what I had on hand and it worked for the time. Um, but I'm not sure it works as a system overall. Like I'll probably be play playing with this whole thing, but there's something else I want to show you that I have for next year that is going to change a lot of this. Well, I'll just go ahead and tell you. I'm going to show you this beauty. This is a Hobonichi Weeks, as you well know, I'm sure. And um, got my Allie Brown sticker there. And this is one of my stickers um, that will be in my shop shortly. So I decided that I really needed some more structure and I'm tired of doing the bullet journal style and I don't really like these little printable things. I just, I just, this is, the tracker's okay, but like this weekly sort of thing just doesn't work for me. Two tiny little boxes and lots of stuff and I know I could get a different layout, but it still is not working. I think it's like the having to print it and paste it in here and like, I just need simple at this point in my life and I also need to be able to forward plan and so when I was in grad school especially I used a lot of this layout where there's um, the weeks on this side and and then blank space to whatever on this side and I know that works for me so I'm really excited about this I already did some little tabs and I couldn't wait, just went ahead and put some things in here. So I'm very excited about that. So what I'm gonna do with this is just make it into my uh, work planner, I guess. Um, which basically my work is making art and making other sort of art related things. <laughs> and I, consider like journaling and YouTube and stickers and whatever any of that stuff all falls under that umbrella so it's like a, just a like a lot of fun stuff it's just really fun stuff stuff that I want to make stuff that I'm working on um, ongoing projects I'm gonna be teaching courses soon hopefully if I can find the time to film so yeah, that's what this is gonna be about, which will be nice. So that'll just be like a work planner. It'll be more like a project planner, not so much a like a daily, weekly thing. Whereas this is gonna be where I put my dates and schedule type stuff and also home stuff. Um, I started writing like um, shopping lists back here and 
I do plan on doing some more meal planning type stuff because right now I'm just really bad at that and I'm really I don't really love cooking I can do it but I don't enjoy it and we end up eating the same thing all the time and it's not very like healthy <laughs> I've had a lot of issues too with my diet like had a lot of intolerance issues this year and I can't figure out what all bothers me so another reason to plan anyway this is just kind of a little almost like a I don't know I don't want to say throw away planner but it's just a cheap thing I got at Target that helps me do some kind of sketching out some pre-planning stuff so that's why that's in there it's really cute for a, a little Target find and it's small so it just fits right back in there Um, and then the last couple of things I want to talk to you about are my, these notebooks. This is a, um, this brand. <laughs> How would you say that? Take Cooker? This is Tomoe River Paper in a B6 size. I actually thought I was ordering A5 and I'm just not very good at apparently at ordering the right size because <laughs> I've done this a couple times, but you know. It's a good one. It's a good little notebook. I really like it. It came with three bookmarks and the third one was yellow. <clears throat> I'm not really a yellow person and it just, I didn't like it. So I tore it out and it actually came out really easily because it was the last one that was kind of glued in there and I just took it out and it was fine. So I like this black and white look. Um, this is my work notes like notes journal so if I'm like learning something listening to you know like a class or I don't know reading something I just and then I write down things and I it's like a vision board and sketches and it's not really a sketchbook it's just work stuff ideas I want to remember so basically it goes in here first if it's work related and I just write and it doesn't matter what it looks like and then if it needs to be transferred to my planner I can transfer it um, and this is the newest thing I felt like there was a hole like I, I was doing all this stuff I had my creative journaling with the Hobonichi and art journals and I had um, and some memory planning with that because I, I didn't talk about that but I do keep track of some memories in the weekly section and I have my my planner I have my work notebook um, but I found I wasn't really doing a whole lot of just like straight up journaling just like writing whatever <laughs> and so I got this um, Leuchtturm for my birthday which was like um, earlier this month, November 2nd. So this has been pretty recent. I started on November 4th when I got this. And I've just been writing. And I just write whatever. It's really nice. It's been a while since I've had a journal like this where I didn't have any kind of um, finished product in mind, I guess. Like this is, this is just a messy journal. I don't care. I use my fountain pens with pretty ink, but I don't really, like for instance, I, 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 the first page is like, I got a new pen and I was trying out the ink in it and I just like made a mess. And it was kind of a statement, like this is the first page, it's a mess. The rest of it can be a mess and it's fine. Like it's really fine. So that's what that is. These are my stickers. Just in case you were wondering where those came from. They'll be in my shop soon. Um, yeah, so that pretty much covers what I have been doing lately. The only other thing that I thought I might talk about is... I feel like I've been talking like a mile a minute. It's been 20 minutes or so, and 
I can't believe it's been that long. <laughs> Feels like I'm, I've just been talking for like five minutes. Oh goodness, guys. Um, all right, the only thing that I wanted to tell you about, since we're talking about all these different types of planning and um, journals and all that, I just wanted to say that I did try the Stology. Stology, Stology. Um, I did not like it, and I will tell you why, because it's, they're very particular reasons why. <clears throat> um, here's some pages that I did just so you can see kind of what I was doing because I already tore them out because <laughs> I do hope to use this notebook for something else. Um, it's, it's I think it's when I first started to use these print printout planner things that you purchase. I think those are from Peanuts Planner Co. I um, just did daily pages. I wrote a lot of notes in here because it was before I got my um, work notebook. So I was just writing all my work notes in here, which was working out okay. And what I found was I really just didn't like getting in this notebook. And I think it was these two reasons. Um, for one, it was another thick notebook in this thing with this thick notebook. So I could only have this and this, and it was just too much thickness. <laughs> I, I don't know, it just didn't feel good to me to be, I, maybe because I was in the beginning of the book, and so that meant that all of this and all of this was like on this side. It just didn't feel good, I, I can't. I mean, hopefully you know what I'm talking about. I just found that I wasn't reaching for it. I wasn't doing a lot of planning because I didn't like writing in this. Another reason is because it has stark white paper. And this is really funny to me because I, I use white. I'm a white, black and white is like a big part of my branding and like as far as my art, like my, I make um, black and white artwork sometimes. I use obviously white paper, like, cause I am a watercolor artist along with mixed media. So you would think that I would really enjoy writing on white paper. And I don't know why, but I just don't. When it comes to stuff like this, I enjoy this like more creamy color. So almost everything I have is, so this definitely is this creamy color, um, slightly different shades. This also is a creamy color. And it just feels more comforting to me. I don't, I don't know why. It's so funny when you realize that these things really matter to you. Because <laughs> I don't think I've thought about it much before now. Um, but that definitely did bother me. So I decided that life is really just too short to use a notebook that you're not enjoying. So I um, cut my stuff out of there and stuck some washi tape over it. And this can be used for something else. Um, and I got back in these little guys. And I've been happier for the most part. But as you well know, I moved to the Hobany two weeks. Um, I also realized that, I think this is kind of weird. So this Hobanichi cousin is white paper. Um, but this, the weeks, is cream paper. So like, why? <laughs> I guess I want to know. Does anybody know? I don't, I just think that's really interesting. Um, but I do find that, like, for instance, this page, it bothers me because the background is white. And if you, you know, see, like, I'm, I'm pretty much always covering up the paper with color, with watercolors and whatever. So, 
I, it's just an interesting thing to think about. Who knows? Who knows why? Um, I think that about covers it. Uh, this was my first finished, I almost finished. I think this is, I finished before I moved to the Stology and I just was, I just was ready to move into the Stology and then I moved into a new notebook when I left the Stology. So, um, that's what I was doing in there. And I did want to show you this because I thought it was really funny because that's a magazine cut out of a obviously like a phone in the bathroom. So that's 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 that. Um yeah. Okay, so I feel like I've just rambled on for half an hour and I'm not even sure if that's worth watching, but I enjoy talking about all this stuff. <laughs> It's like when you haven't seen a friend in a long time and you just feel like you have to talk about everything all at once. Um, that's how I feel. Yeah, I I hope you guys are doing well and um, do me a favor and like this video if you watched it this far in, <laughs> please. And leave a comment and let me know like how are you doing or if you have any questions about any of this and or maybe if you have a preference between white or cream paper and if that's different in different types of journaling or planning I'm really interested in that so um thanks guys I'll see you around I will be back bye bye